Hey everybody, welcome to Drill Deal, Oil Tycoon. It's a brand new game. Uh, it will be coming out yesterday, I suppose, uh, by the time you see this video. And I figured, you know, with the whole situation, right, with, with the world right now, you know what I'm talking about. At least most of you probably do. I figured we could use a little more oil drilling, uh, just, you know, at least temporarily. And uh, so I figured we'd do it in the game because I, I have no control over that shit in the real world. So uh, we're going to start a new game. Uh, and this is sort of like a it's it's a fun little, you know what? I'm not even going to describe it. Let's just show you. OK, so destroy mines and upgrade platform. This is sort of the campaign. And you, you go through these various different levels, which I have not touched yet. But if you like this game, maybe we can continue to explore it. I don't know. Uh, done the tutorial already. So let's get started on uh, this Mission in the North Sea, I guess. Manage a company's new investment, a platform in a flourishing sea full of algae. But we found this place, and there happens to be a whole lot of mines around it, right? So we're going to need to build up our mining rig platform out in the water and, uh, you know, care for all of our people. And we need a defense turret so that we can get rid of the mines. All right. So here's our little mining rig. It's not that little, actually. These things are enormous, uh, real world. But uh, here's this, and uh, it's pretty bare right now. There's nothing going on on the, on the surface. But we've got this expedition area where we can put people on boats and send them off on missions and stuff, which is kind of nice. Uh, this is where boats will come in to deliver goods. So that's going to be where our shipping route is right now, unless it comes from that way. But I would hope not. There's also a wrecked ship out here. Ooh. That's probably an expedition we can go on. Um, and then here's our drilling rig, right? So we need to start by hiring some good people to help us out because we've got no employees at the moment. So every employee in the list has a variety of different skills and a variety of different uh, skill levels, I suppose, there. So um, when we are looking at the, the drilling rig, it's going to kind of highlight the relevant skills. So three stars, of course, he's going to be much more efficient at the job. He's going to be able to generate more. And honestly, the difference in salary here to, to have a, that third star is probably worth it. If this guy was like in the mid 60s in salary, I might consider him instead. But honestly, I probably need both. Um, but this guy here also has a two star refining skill. If I use him on the refinery, though, I'm overpaying because this guy's got the same skill and he's 50. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, and three. <clears throat> and I think I'm also going to hire Easton Johnson here. Uh, sorry, Easton Johansson here uh, because he's got decent cooking skills. And I can't do that because I need more space for uh, them to live. So three employees, the most I can do before I get anything. So we're going to click them drill. And I'm going to make sure that my buddy uh, Thomas Carter here, he's on the day shift. And I also want somebody on the night shift. But the thing is, I don't really need them on the night shift yet. Because we're not really producing enough to have that matter just yet. Um, so I can have... They can have the night off, the night off okay, for now. Uh, but Christian here also has an entertainment skill. Because these guys are going to need to entertain too. So I can put this guy in an entertainment facility. All right. So let's actually get to the building parts of this, huh? Down here, we've got these three buttons, and they are build menus for a variety of different things that are in here. The first thing we're going to want is a refinery, and uh, this requires 80 building blocks as well as 500 money. So I'm going to place this building, I think, kind of maybe right there, okay? Now, the game is paused right now. I could let it run, of course, and I will, but while I'm setting up my initial build for things, I'd like to just sort of get it all done in one, like, so I don't run the time, right? Uh, next, I'm most certainly going to need a gas generator. So I'm going to place that right here. And then I think I'm running out of building blocks. I got 70 building blocks. So I think one thing I should do is in my orders tab here, I can order additional building blocks. I've got 3593 money and I am losing money every day because I have to pay my people. But I'm going to want additional building blocks. So I'm going to get, I think, this many. And I'm also going to grab just a, just a few food ingredients, too, because we're going to want to uh, you know, care for people for a while. So we'll go ahead and order that. That's going to dip into my money. But it's also going to give me more building blocks so I can build things. Uh, next, I'm going to want an employee qu uh, living quarters. Now, 
these guys don't want to live where it's noisy. And most of our industrial stuff is going to make a lot of noise. So I'm actually going to uh, place it over here. Kind of as far away as possible from all the production stuff. All right. That's going to give me a level two platform. Very nice. All right. So a um, couple of things we want to do now that stuff is being built. We want the refinery. We want somebody with good refining skills to be here. Now, he's already on the drill. So we're going to take Timothy Parker and pop you in the day shift on this. Uh, Christian, you're going to end up being uh, in like the cinema probably. All right. So we need a cinema. And that requires research. So let me take a look really quick at our tech tree. First bit of research here is just going to give us 20% more drilling efficiency. I don't necessarily need that at the moment. Uh, but if I go into employee care, this is going to increase the time needed before unsatisfied employees quit their, do their job. I'm going to buy myself a little bit of time with that. Um, and then I can go ahead and open up the cinema when it's needed. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is where is this okay small kitchen buffet and then also a food container so we're going to need a container to hold our food i think i'll probably end up placing this right here you do get adjacency bonuses for placing things that are uh kind of collaborative if you will or like putting the food supply food ingredients next to the kitchen for example is something that's going to increase the efficiency of it i'll place the kitchen there uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a food container right here. All right. So until the ship arrives with my building blocks that I ordered, this is all I can build. So money-wise, it's getting a little tight. You're also going to notice that this is complaining there's no power. And that's because I got this gas generator, but it's not enough to do everything. So um, we're going to need another generator as well. And I unfortunately don't believe I have enough to... Well, actually, I think a generator is money. Yeah. doesn't take any building blocks to make this. It's only money. So I can go ahead and pop that next to that. It should provide the power we need for everything. Okay. Now, I'm going to pause it again just for a little bit. We're losing money every day right now, and that's kind of why I had it paused. You earn money by taking contracts. So I'm going to go into our... Uh, here, contracts. Now, you could do quick ones where you just real quickly sell something. So, in this case, I could sell 200 fuel for 800 gold. Or money, whatever. I can also take, sell 200 units of gasoline for 1,000. Or 200 units of gas for 600. Because gas and gasoline are different things. And uh, you can sell each one of these. But when I, I point that out that they're different things because each of these different refineries. There's like a refinery here, but there's also a gas chemical plant, small chemical plants, lar uh, advanced ones, extractive distillation. There's small hydrocracking. There's a lot of these different types of refining processes that create different uh, products. And so uh, if you have a contract to produce one type of product over here on the left, you'll want to produce that, of course, to meet your satisfy your contracts. Now, down here are more automated, reoccurring contracts, which could also help your reputation. And reputation is important to get better and better contracts. So here is gasoline, and here is fuel. So right now, 24-hour balance is 163, which means I'm producing 163 of this per day. So if I want to sell fuel, I can come up and, and do like a unit per day contract and make a ton of money. But if I don't satisfy what I promised, that's going to backfire. I'll end up losing reputation. I'll get the money for what I sell, but I'll, I'll lose my reputation a bit. So I'm going to bring this down to 139. And it's not going to give me that much revenue, but it's enough. Uh, it's certainly enough to kick me into the into positive territory. So we'll go ahead and make that deal. So that's going to be enough for me to make a positive per day money flow. You can see here. It's a little bit small on your screen, I admit. You know, UI and stuff. Um, it also looks like we're going to need a little bit more power, unfortunately. So, uh, I didn't want to make any more power like this, but um, I wanted a crude store. I wanted crude storage right here. So, I'm going to take and put this right here. And if I can get a yeah, crude storage container, mm, honestly, at this point, I might just take another refinery. Put this right next to it. It's going to be extra power, though. 
How much extra power do you use, refinery? You're going to use 50 power. Okay, so I have just enough to do this, but I don't have any, like, I need them to be able to, to eat and stuff, right? So effectiveness, I need more employees. Let's hire somebody for the kitchen. Yeah, Johansson right here. So let's get him in the kitchen. And you know what? I'm going to have you work at night. Yeah. I'm going to have you work in the kitchen at night. And you can probably work on the drill. Ooh. You might be able to work the drill at night. During, I wonder if they're free time. I haven't played enough to know this. I'm wondering if their free time is where they, you know, satisfy their needs. Or if just having the facilities is enough to satisfy their needs. So... I imagine you need a free time to do this. Uh, we need a buffet as well for them to actually eat. So I'm gonna drop that out too. Now you're gonna see all these little icons or it looks like there's like a hat. That just means that there's nobody working there right now. I don't have anybody stationed there. Um, this is where our expedition shipyard is and I can place the person who's good at expeditions, which is Timothy here. Uh, nope, no it's not. Oh, I thought I had somebody for that, hang on. Repair your buildings! I know, I know. Okay, so this guy is good for expeditions. He's kind of a well-rounded person, too. I'm gonna hire you so I can get an expedition going. And we have 120 units of fuel here. So, we didn't quite get our full promise on that. Not... Not the, not the best. We're gonna have to work on that, too. Uh, and then... I think... Where is... This bar works the opposite of what I expect. Like, when I want to move right, it goes left. When it goes left, it goes... Like, it, it's the opposite of what I'm thinking it's supposed to be. So it's a little confusing for me here. This. Okay. Expeditions menu. I was looking for this. Um, so there's a damaged passenger ship nearby. It's worth looking into. And it requires two explorers. So I'd have to put two people on this. So let's put you and you. Even though you're not great at it. We'll put you and you on this. And uh, we can go ahead and start this. This is going to take 132. This is the time it takes, but I want to say it's just minutes. It's a full... I, I haven't, I'm not used to seeing it full like this. So let's just hit start and see what happens. Yeah, okay. 130 seconds, I guess. So they're going to go off. And they're going to investigate this boat. See if they can find anything useful and bring it back. And hopefully they... You know, they find something that is uh, useful for us to use so that I don't have to keep buying it because it's expensive. We have 140 fuel now, 160. So the next time we get a boat in, we should be able to satisfy that trade this time around. I'm hoping. Um, if we get extra, like for example, right now we have 272 gasoline, we can go in and do one of these quick deals. So this is... We have, we have the gasoline to do this, so I just hit it. And it's just quick. It's done. I get the money already, and it's settled. And I can use that those funds to do other things. Uh, okay, so I have the kitchen. I've got the buffet. i got an employee quarters. Everyone can live and eat, all that stuff. What we really need is a place for them to be entertained so they don't leave and you know get upset at me. So I'm going to go into the tech tree, and I'm going to spend money on cinema here. And I'm going to take this small cinema. And I'm going to place it, I think, maybe... Let's leave room for another living quarter. I'll put it, like, right here. Leave room for another living quarter to be there. And then we're going to need somebody staffed here, of course. I think nighttime movies are probably the best. And so Colton will be stationed here once he's not on the expedition. Because he's good at it, you know. I, honestly, he's good in a lot of things. But I think... Christian, I probably want you to end up being the night shift of the drill. I think. Probably. So, let's let's get this uh, expedition done first, though. Keep your employees happy. Build entertainment buildings. I did. So, there it is. So as soon as they're back from the boat, which is right now. Nope, not yet. Now. There it is. Uh, we've recovered 400 fuel from the sh sinking ship. Okay. Cool. 
So I'm going to slow down time just a little bit here. We're going to take Christian and put you on the drill at night. And we're going to make sure also that we have somebody in entertainment here. Let's put you on night shift for that. And then I think I want to get another refinery going too. So uh, if we take maybe Benjamin, we get a second refinery because we've got a lot of crude oil and you can see we can max out the storage on this. Okay. And you'll notice that I'm almost maxing out fuel oil as well. So if we can get a crude oil storage container that will increase how much we can hold for crude oil. And um, we have refined oils container, which can store gas, uh, fuel oil and gasoline and stuff. So we can take this and put this here too. And this allows us to store more of these, uh, more of these resources. But I think what I really need, what I really want anyway, is another refinery. And again, this thing does not go the direction I think it's gonna go. It looks like I'm gonna need uh, well, money, which I'm going to get, but also the blocks. I'm going to need blocks, too. We've got a hundred and... Actually, I think we have more than enough. Yeah, fuel oil here, five. We have 521 here. So I can afford to do this and still meet my contract requirements. Good. And then we'll just keep making it. But I think I want another refinery here to really pump that, that contract out, so... Um, we're going to need additional building blocks. I'm going to go ahead and maybe get... Uh, that should maybe do it. That's a bunch of money, but we're going to need it. I don't think I'll need... Yeah, it just takes 50 power. I'm going to need another generator, too. Darn. These generators, man. They are not... Uh, they're, not they're not cheap. kind of suck, honestly. Uh, we need to get alternative means of power here pretty soon. Uh, let's put this... I don't want to put it next to the house. So I guess I'm going to stick it over here. Hopefully it's not too close to the living quarters. Yeah, it seems fine. For now. Okay, so let's increase time a little bit here. See if we can get that boat in to deliver. There it is. Now, one thing we could do is make sure there's somebody on the night shift. We can absolutely get somebody refining on the night shift. Um, but I think I want another refinery anyway. It may not be necessary. Is there a contract for us to sell crude? Just straight up sell crude oil the way it is? Um, let's go ahead and get this drill efficiency. And then I want to see if there is a contract. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. So, just fuel and gasoline still. And we we have to... I want to say we can... I, I, w I want to be able to give them more on a specific day. Because... Like, 139, I can afford more than that right now, right? But I can't adjust it until the end of the contract day. So, I think we just accelerate time and hope that I am end up, you know, being able to deliver the, the difference here. And then gas, we're producing 326, it says. So why don't we go ahead and have like some sales on this too? There we go. Okay, so we have some buildings that are breaking down. And I kind of did this. I kind of did this on purpose because I wanted to show you that they can break down and stuff. Um, but what I didn't do in time is actually make the building, the workshop, because it's basic maintenance and it's uh, locked behind a pit. Uh, technology and I didn't know that so basic maintenance is needed and I need $200 I don't have $200 okay hang on oh no I'm running out of money sell it okay go into tech maintenance basic maintenance go and then let's build my workshop right here and we'll put this workshop over in the corner like this we're gonna need somebody staffed there. So let's take a look really quick. None of the prospective employees are particularly great at this. Well, no, you are, Mike is. Yeah, hire Mike and put him in here. Mike, you're on the day shift, go. There you go. Go fix things, Mike. So you see some of these meeps, some of these guys, right? I don't know, meeples, I guess. I don't know what they are. Uh, these guys, 
that's a, a frowny face, right? He's not very happy. And it's because he hasn't been entertained, right? So they got to go to the cinema and get entertained the best that they can. Uh, so I still want the other refinery, though, because I want to make more money. Okay, we completed the contract. Yay! We actually got a good positive reputation for this. Just under our promised amount, but uh, it's fine. Now we could continue it, or I can say thanks and try to get a different one. Um, so in this case, there's a whole new fresh uh, part here where they want you know fuel. And now that we've increased our production, we can increase how much we sell. So I'm gonna say, let's sell 360 a day uh, to these guys. So we're making more money that way too. Uh, now I can put another employee head, uh, another employee quarters down and hire more people, which I probably should do. I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick. And I'm going to get another refiner, somebody who can, who can refine really well. I, it, not really well. Connor is okay at it, I guess. Uh, so we'll get you and let's also go ahead and honestly, that's probably fine for now. If I can build the the other refinery, which I still can't because of the blocks. Okay, I need blocks. Let's go ahead and give you... Gas is maxed out. Let's do this. I actually totally forgot about gas. Like, just the regular gas. Totally kept looking over it the whole time. Uh, let's see. I want to get... Um, this screen is the contracts tree. This, these are like the people that we are familiar with. Um, these are people that we could do contracts with, if you will. Um, and you can buy access to them. Um, you can unlock quick contracts with these guys, and they want solid fuel. We can unlock uh, quick contracts with these guys. They want heavy oil. Uh, there's lubricants, heavy oil, uh, and solid fuel again. So, like, we, c we can do that if we want to. Um, and it looks like there's other, you know, up here, sulfur, I guess. And those things are, are higher prices per unit. And that's uh, generally going to make us more money for the production that we're doing. So this building is a little too close to things with noise, which is unfortunate. It is right next to the drill, so I understand that. But sometimes it's just not going to be... We're not going to be able to avoid uh, being close to noise. As this rig gets you know, cluttered, we're not going to be able to avoid it. Uh, we have a guy who's free here. I want to see about expeditions really quick. Um, it looks like we just we can just go back to the same sh sinking ship. But maybe we're checking if the evacuated passengers have left any valuables. So we might be able to get extra valuables for this as well. Are we satisfying the needs? All the way up. Ding, ding. Yay. We are. Awesome. So now we're starting to roll in the dough. Now it's just about making sure we got the people to handle it. And I think I want Luke. He's going to do sea expeditions for me. Luke, you're in. And also, I'm going to put Colton in this temporarily. He's in the small cinema for now. I think I'll shift this and just pop. I'm going to pop Connor in the cinema for a little bit. He's not He's not good at it, but he's not also not as great at expeditions. I want this to go fast. So let's have you. Oh. There are not enough people. Huh? Oh. Wait, do we not have enough? Apparently has too low fulfillment. Oh, okay, so he's not happy. And because he's not happy, he won't go. Fine, Colton, go back to this. We'll send the new guy, because how can you be upset if you're a new guy? All you've had is free time this whole time. Can't possibly not be happy, right? Maybe it's the other dude that's not happy. Oh, there it goes. Start it. Off you go. <laughs> it's all about the timing. Just just tell him to go right when he's in a good mood, you know? There you go. Uh, all right. So the workshop is running. They're starting to get things maintained. Power is kind of stretched, but it's still there. I want another... Honestly, what we could do is like refine things even further right maybe go for chemical plants and stuff if we go into this uh technology tree we could do basic oil production which will unlock lubricants and then we can start maybe getting some uh better stuff we could also do better capacitors and this just increases our available power straight up by 50 right now which is probably going to be needed in the future but i'm going to take oil production for now and this should allow us to 
create additional resources that we couldn't create before by using the small chemical plant. So this will convert fuel into lubricants. So there will be a need to constantly produce more than we're selling, which is kind of what we're doing right now. So I'm going to take this chemical plant, I guess, instead. And I'll place this. Well, this is three blocks, isn't it? So if I place this here, I won't be able to place another refiner. It's just going to have to be the way it is. So we just won't produce any more oil, but we'll make sure that this refiner is staffed around the clock. Yeah, it's going to need to be happening. Uh, we're going to need somebody to manage the chemicals here. So why don't we go ahead and see about hiring somebody who could do that? Mm, yeah, I think instead I, I need to find somebody who's... We don't have anybody that can work the chemical plant. Chemical plant advanced. I mean, you should be able to work the normal one too, right? If you can work the advanced one. Maybe not. There's our trade. All set. <laughs> nice. Uh, I guess we'll just take somebody who's in the shipyard once they get back from the expedition. Everybody's in a bad mood though. So I feel like we just got to get, you know, like there, there needs to be more entertainment taking place here, I think. Because everybody's in a bad mood. I think they're all going to leave me. Why don't we put... Yeah, why don't we put Christian... Take him off the drill and put him in here. Make sure that the cinema is always staffed so people can go ahead and do it. And But I think if, if people are working double shifts, that's a problem too, right? I think they need to have that free time. I probably should look into that as well. Passengers carefully took all their belongings, but your employees managed to bring back a thousand. We also got some food ingredients as well, which is pretty cool. All right, so we got some extra cash for this. This is good. Um, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the small expedition people are reassigned. So day shift, I want the people who are in the shipyard. You are going to work here, Connor. And the small kitchen only has a night shift working at the moment small shipyard i could put luke on this but he's better he's better with refining all right we completed the contract pretty nifty got some more cash and i've got people pretty balanced in terms of where they're working i just don't have anybody for the day shift kitchen um and i, I have enough room for one more employee so if i can find somebody like yeah right here like, Jacob's smart here. Although he's really expensive. I, I think I would rather just have Elias. So maybe we just take Elias here and pop him in the day shift over here. And so, like, I have everybody staffed. At least I thought I did. I guess I missed this guy. They all have jobs. I need one more refiner. Somebody who's really good with refinery stuff. Or maybe just average. Yeah, Nathan Davis. Fine. Get Nathan in here. And there we go. Okay. So every every workplace should have somebody working there for their shift. Everything should be fine. We have 20 building blocks, but we got eight thousand dollars. So let's order a uh, let's order some more building blocks. I think maybe a hundred. Now the thing is, it's a storm right now, and the storm. I'm gonna order some more food ingredients too. The storm is going to prevent us from ordering any ships. When you click the button, the, the boat comes right away. So it's not like a future thing. I wish I could click this button and it would say the boat will arrive after the storm. But that would be better. Otherwise, I'd just have to wait for the storm to be over with. Um, and the good news is I can speed up time. So we can just go ahead and do that. Um, however, I have supplies that are full here, right? I've got meals. I've got very few ingredients, so I'm ordering that too. And uh, I have quick contracts, hopefully, that will allow me to get rid of some of this extra supply. I was hoping I could just sell crude oil direct, but that doesn't look like I can do that. Um, I do have extra gas though, so let's go ahead and just drop that and do that. And it might be a good idea for me to drop another bit of fuel storage if it's possible, which doesn't look like it is because of the building blocks, right? So I need to wait till this awesome looking storm is, is done. So let's speed up, speed up time really quick. From what I can tell, the storms 
don't seem to really affect my equipment all that much. It's possible it does, and I just don't see it. But it doesn't look like it really affects my equipment all that much. We sold all the stuff, which is nice. We have way too much crude oil. So I think we can take Benjamin here, unstaff him from the oil drilling at night. There's really no reason to drill at night when... Uh, yeah. We could put Benjamin in on, on this. He's a, he's a free shift, right? Actually, we can put him on here. Let's keep our stuff... Uh, let's keep our stuff looking good, right? During the night, too. For expeditions, there are rumors that pirates buried a chest of gold on a nearby island 300 years ago. Rumors, huh? They're probably fairy tales, but we might be worth checking out. Requires two explorers. We're going to have to send food, four food, three water, and uh, it takes 200 seconds, I guess. So I can, I can start that once I have those requirements. It doesn't look like I have... Yeah, Connor's needs are not adequately met at the moment. Now, the chemical plant is trying to make a bunch of lubricant, and it's complaining it doesn't have the raw materials to do that, and it's because it's it's sucking down our fuel, right? Um, we are currently under contract to deliver fuel, 360 units every day, so I think we probably should pull you out of the chemical plant because that chemical plant is taking our oil or taking our fuel that we're supposed to be uh, selling. So that's actually a problem. If I could get a contract for chemicals, then great. Uh, specifically, I guess, lubricants. If I can get a contract for that, that'd be great. But yeah. Take a look at the tech tree. Basic education, new hiring of applicants will have a higher chance of a level two skill. Increase your chances of getting access to better job applicants. Eh, okay. Technically experienced, uh, better chances of having level three skills or call for assistant. Increases the number of daily employees available to hire by one. Okay. Uh, not quite as good as say, oh, it's, it's unlocks an upgrade for a building. Simple employee quarters, uh, space for five employees and gives a small bonus to work satisfaction. Oh, well, that's cool. All in the same space they already are. Convection ovens. This is an upgrade for the kitchen. Okay. Uh, kitchen staff working here. Cooks plain meals using water and ingredients. Okay. And then we can upgrade the cinema if we want to as well. Increases happiness and mood. Uh, take a look at production because this is probably what most of you guys are interested in. Like, where where can you go with this stuff, right? And uh, honestly, I haven't looked a whole lot at this tech tree yet. It's a pretty new game, but... Uh, it looks like it gets pretty involved. Okay, the boat's pulling in, and we're going to come up short here on this delivery. The fuel, we just couldn't quite produce enough of it. Um, we can make up for it a little bit on the money side, but the fact that we have extra gasoline, and uh, with that extra gasoline, we actually have a quick contract that we can use to get us an extra thousand bucks, which is cool. So we're going to hit that. But I think I'm actually going to hold off on lubricant production and stuff because you have to convert that from fuel oil yeah now in order to get rid of the mines that's a that's a main task right it's getting rid of the mines that's the thing we were supposed to be able to do or supposed to want to do uh to do that we need to go down the maintenance tree go to security and this will increase the hp buildings have because there are there is some combat in the game uh pirates can come in and try to take your stuff and destroy your stuff so um you can get defensive turrets and we can use those turrets to destroy the mines um, because that's part of the uh, that's part of what the game wants us to do so I'm gonna go down here and get the defensive turrets and we just need to install them and I don't know if uh, I don't know if we're gonna have the building blocks I, I, I doubt it we're probably gonna have to order building blocks let's go ahead and order like 90 building blocks I guess and then probably don't need that many we have uh, 20 in storage right so let's get ourselves to an even hundred here uh, I can't text input can I do it oh I can excellent oh excellent all right um, you know what this is fine just confirm this and we'll get that brought in we're gonna need food ingredients too because we're not able to make any food at the moment 
So that's what that little symbol is for. Uh, okay, so once the building blocks get here, we should be able to build... I never know what many of these things are in. Right here, defensive turret. And then the defensive turret can shoot the mines. As long as it's in range, which I suspect these are not in range. These absolutely are, but I suspect these ones are just a little bit out of range. We'll see how that works out. Nighttime is a little hard to see. I know, for video. My bad. All right. Um, defensive turret. Why not? Oh, I need lubricants for the turret. <laughs> okay. All right. Of course. 100 lubricants for the turret. You have enough crude oil for the... Or, I'm sorry, fuel oil? Yeah. Like, we're not going to be able to make any. We have to produce more. We really have to produce more. Uh, I took people off the night shift for oil drilling, and now I feel like I'm going to have to put them back. Put all my attention in this refinery right here. Hmm. I think we're going to need a little bit more oil, unfortunately. Let's put Benjamin back on the oil drilling at night. And I guess we'll only have maintenance during the day, which is not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Maybe there is an upgrade for the fuel, for the basic refinery, right? Maybe we'll take a look at production. High tech. Nope. Gravity drainage. Uh, unlocks heavy oil refining plant. I'm looking for... I'm looking for an upgrade to the actual refinery itself. It doesn't look like I have any available here. Oh, these aren't available in the scenario. I see. We're, all, we're limited in how far we can go here. Well, I mean, if I did the high tech, I suppose I'd be able to extract more gas, but also I'd be able to extract more crude oil. And therefore, I wouldn't need people to work during the night on that. So that, that might actually be better. We can take the 2000 bucks to get high tech here. Does that automatically happen? Or do I have to click a button for that? Building is noisy. Yeah. Good condition. Drill to upgrade building. So it requires me to have 100 lubricants, of course. And 200 building blocks. Okay. So no then. <laughs> no then. Fine. Heavy oil. I want to sell this. But nobody... Nobody wants to buy it. So maybe... If we look at these guys, maybe some of these guys will want to buy it. I don't know. Heavy oil right here. Yeah. Let's unlock these. Can I, can I unlock this? I have to do Norway oil first, probably. Yeah, and then this. So with these guys unlocked, can I sell he heavy oil on our quick contracts now? Or at least I guess I'm eligible to have them pop up, right? Like It, it won't necessarily pop up right now, but it, it could later. Maybe that's how that works. Refreshes every day. Yeah. So now t tomorrow it might refresh and then allow me to sell the heavy oil. Okay. The gas contract is good to go. Got a good reputation for that. We're still, ha we're still doing pretty well on the gasoline. So I'm going to go ahead and continue that contract. Jesus. That's loud, isn't it? I'm going to have to turn that down <laughs> in the video. I've got the time running on 4X uh, just because I want to get to the end of this oil contract because it's taking all of my oil to satisfy it and uh, the fuel, sorry. I would really like to start producing lubricants again, but I don't want to lose the, the clout or the reputation or whatever from not satisfying this. The thing is, you, you just sell as much as you have. If you don't have enough, you just sell as much as you have. Here's the heavy oil. I can sell that now if I want to. There we go. I can sell more gas here. So we're making lots of money. And I think that's the end of the crude. Uh, that's the end of the oil contract, I think. So, uh, yes. So no more, no more fuel selling. We're selling only the gas, and that's okay. And then we also have the quick contracts. So what we can do now is get the small chemical plant back online. And that will start consuming our fuel that we're producing to make lubricants so that I can get the defense turret. Okay, so I went ahead in the research tree 
and I just bought the upgrade for the bedrooms and the upgrade for the cinema. I don't have a whole lot of space. So I'm gonna try to upgrade the employee quarters and stuff. We'll do the, we'll upgrade the one that is uh, further away. It doesn't have the noise. But look, look how much bigger it is. That's pretty cool. And that also gives me now the ability to have one extra person to work here too, which is kind of nice. Uh, now I can also go ahead and upgrade this one, but it's going to take all my building blocks to do that. I'd rather spend it on upgrading the cinema, but I'm also going to need even more building blocks for that. So let me go ahead and order a bunch more building blocks, I guess. Bring that in here. We're getting a little low on food ingredients too, so I probably should incorporate that into the orders. But mm, I just kind of missed out on that. Most are unsatisfied. So we need to do better with entertainment because, you know, we're, I'm, I'm lacking on that. So I'm going to pop another cinema over here. I could actually get a different building, but I'm just going to do two cinemas. And then the next employee I hire is going to be somebody who's okay at entertainment. And we're going to have you working in... Where we go? Here. We'll have you work in this building. Yep, you. So we have two cinemas now. Um, they're not open all the time, but there's a, there's a few more. So now I just need to get all the building blocks. There it is. So the small cinema can get upgraded now. See what it looks like. All right, so just bigger, decent model. Yeah. It's a little bit bigger there. And it provides additional satisfaction. So when people, when people come and see it, or, you know, entertain themselves in it, it will be uh, a bigger impact on them per visit. But right now I have nine employees that are not happy at all. I don't know how to make them happy, really. It's, this is hard. <laughs> like, making them satisfied with their job is really difficult. I can make a ton of cash. I feel like you just gotta have... I just, I just need more entertainment facilities. And, um... Originally, I left these little gaps so that because I was going to put additional storage containers in there. But I'm starting to think that maybe I just don't need the additional storage. There's really no reason to have more storage. So I didn't really know that. And, um, well, now I do. Going to need even more building blocks, though. Uh, we can go ahead and get some food ingredients while we're at it. Uh, let's just go ahead and bring in, I don't know, this many. It's fine. And we're going to build the defensive turret. So I can show you how that works. There we go. And the building blocks are unloaded. There they are. So. Defensive turret, where are you? Uh, lubricants. Right, well, we're, not, we're, we're supposed to be making this stuff, which clearly we haven't made enough yet. All right, 72. Okay. Okay, so I let it run for a little bit. And uh, I think they're starting to get happier. There's only three people now that are uh, unsatisfied with their jobs. We also have some extra quick contracts. I took another fuel contract because it looked like we were doing pretty well on doing that. When you make your employees happy, come to find out they produce more for you. How about that? <laughs> it just, that's what it seems like anyway. Uh, so we're now producing enough to export both of these trade contracts and doing 271 a day here just to make sure we satisfy it. We don't really have any want for money here. Um, we're doing pretty good here. Go figure. Being an oil giant is profitable. And uh, what we're going to want to do is to start taking away these mines. We have now the ability, we have enough lubricant now, to create one of these defense turrets. So as you place this on the rig, it is possible to reach within this range. So if I put this all the way over on this side of the rig, it, it, it looks like I just simply cannot reach this. So most likely, I'm going to have to build another rig in order to, to reach it. So uh, I'll put it on this side instead. Might as well bias towards this direction if we can. Uh, so, all right, maybe we'll put it in the center. That's probably fine, because it shoots up. So let's say we put it... Uh... No, we really should put it near the edge. I mean, it makes more sense visually to be by the edge. 
Uh, now, there's not enough power to run this. We're down by three. Gross. But we can go into the technology tree. And I want to say it's... Is it is it here? Battery capacitors? Yes. Click this. Now we have a higher, uh, higher capacity for power. And everything is fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this turret here. Okay. And we're going to... It says press this to activate shooting mode. So that's right here. Okay. So this button is available to you all the time. You don't have to click the actual turret. And when you do that, you activate a shooting mode that allows you to target a certain area and fire. And it allows you to shoot things. Okay. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be an ammo limit, uh, but it, the projectile, as you can see, will land where you click. So you're not clicking on an enemy to shoot at, you're clicking on a location. So if these things are moving around, you know, you might want to shoot where they're going instead of where they are, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and clear these. Because that's the objective. There we go. All mines destroyed. Uh, now it says build an additional small platform and have 15 employees. So build an additional small platform. Let's go ahead and turn combat mode off. We also have a interface over here too. Uh, let me take a look really quick. Uh, heavy oil, sell that. We have no need for it otherwise, so we're just gonna keep doing that. And same thing with the gas. We wanna get rid of that as we can too. I guess this is gasoline. Sell that too. You make more for the persistent shipping contracts than you do for the quick sells. But the quick sells, of course, are a way to get, if you're full, that's a way to get rid of your supply. Uh, a lot faster. All right, so I have 80 building blocks. I've never built another platform. They do not. They don't walk you through that in the tutorial. So I'm gonna assume it's right here. These are seven by seven. That's the big one. Um, and it looks like we're gonna need asphalt for these two, but we just need building blocks for these two. And maybe that's all I really care about is just like a three by six or something like this, right? So why don't we go ahead? I don't know, we'll just take it like, I don't know, take this many, it doesn't matter. Give me some food ingredients too. And then maybe we'll grab like a couple of good meals because that'll probably make them happier too. I have the money, right, to pay for good stuff. I have the money to give my people good stuff, so I should. Employee quarters. Let's go ahead and uh, build that too. So now we can have one more employee. And it looks to me like... 84 lubricants here. Uh, probably what we could do is get a night shift person for this cinema. Although people are happy. I think we have everybody happy right now, don't we? Yeah, we do. Huh? We solved the mood problem. Okay. Don't have to worry about it then. We do need the food ingredients. That's being shipped on the boat right now. So we'll, we'll have that right away. Okay, trade's done. Should have enough now to look into building some extra stuff. So I'm looking for platforms. Here they are. So two by nine or a three by six. We can take a look at how big that is. Build platforms on so at some distance. Oh, we need bridges. That's what the bridges are for. From obstacles and other platforms. So if I come over like say this. Hmm, okay. Three by six or two by nine. That's peculiar. All right. I kind of get it, yeah. I understand. All right, so we'll put you like say here. Let's say in line with this, but also over like this. So I built an additional platform. That's nice. And um, to get to it, we're gonna have to use a bridge. I plan to actually make, well, can I actually just do the bridge to the edge or does that work, or do I, does it have to come off of this? Because I'm okay with it coming off of this. I was going to put this platform down and then another one right next to it. But I need more building blocks to do that, and I can't order it during a storm. 
There's a lot of storms at sea, isn't there? Jeez. All right. Let me let this run for a little bit. I'll build another platform over here, and then the idea is to get another... You know, I need to get 15 employees, which is kind of easy. Um, I could theoretically just put the housing right here next to the noisy stuff, but it's it's fine. We'll we'll put it uh, we'll put it on this platform over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let me get another ship with building blocks. You just need so many of these things, man. Wish I could put them on. Like, order, you know, like, consistent, persistent order, like, I don't know, give me 20 per day or something delivered. That would be nice. So, I was hoping to build, like, kind of a replica of this with these platforms, but I can't build these, you know, really close together either. So, I'm wondering how the bridge is supposed to work. I mean, if, I guess it comes directly off the edge, so... I can actually go like this with it and it will be fine. Yeah, okay. So the bridge comes across and doesn't look like it really takes me much to do that. And then it doesn't need to be off of this. Okay, but that's that's kind of interesting. So I guess in order to have another really big platform like this, you'd kind of have to just use the seven by seven. I don't know, like I want to replicate and have another one of these with a drill and everything, but oh well. In any case, uh, in order to do what I need to do here, I need employee quarters. So I guess you're going to have to live out here. Ta-da! <laughs> Platform level six, I guess. And then now that we have that extra living quarter, all I need is 15 employees. And I think I satisfy the level one of the campaign here. So I suppose we'll hire you and you. And that's 15 employees. I believe that's all of the goals. Have 15 employees. Right? I have 15. So, are we good? Does that satisfy the requirements? Ta-da! Okay. So, I think that's all the stars I needed for this. And then we can now destroy the mines again if we want to by going into... Uh, yeah, I'm never going to remember where this is. Here it is. Defensive turret. You can place another turret right here, I guess. Oh, can you reach that? Oh, that's out of range. Well, <laughs> uh, we'll just build another platform. Why not? Build another platform uh, right over here. It's so dark. Nighttime is so dark. Let's put it right like this. There. And make a bridge from here to here. Oh, no. Can't do that. Not allowed. Why? So that's interesting. Uh, I'm not able to build a bridge to this platform. I wonder if it's because it's too close to the buoy or too close to the mines or something. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, we're going to switch into combat mode here and shoot this thing. Or not. Okay, so this isn't actually a mine that I need to destroy. Fair enough. I think I've satisfied this, though. I mean, I have all three stars. It just didn't, like, kick me out of the game to bring me to the next stage. So let me, um... I guess I'll save it here. That's fine. The autosave, whatever, we'll do North Sea. Um, I'll go back to the main menu really quick. And I want to see if I if I hit new game. Yeah, Jack Torpedo's unlocked now. So it didn't kick me out of North Sea. That was the interesting part. It's like I satisfied all the requirements, but it, but it's it's fine. So uh, if you guys like this game, um, we can do Jack Torpedo as well. Uh, expand the oil platform in the pirate waters. Huh? Uh, this is Drill Deal Oil Tycoon. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. Leave me your thoughts down uh, down below, and maybe we'll touch on it again. See ya. Bye bye.